Hello, class. My name is Will Campos, and I am doing my informative speech on sleep. Uh, before I start, I'd like to introduce my audience as they will come on screen and introduce themselves. Let's go ahead and start off with Jay. Hi, I'm Jay. How are you doing? And then let's go over to Jarrell. Hi, I'm Jarrell. How are you doing? Miss Alicia, you're up. Hi, my name is Alicia. How you doing? Connor? Hello, my name is Connor. How are you doing? <laughs> Christian? Uh, my name is Christian. And my lovely wife, Melissa. Hello. And without further ado, I shall start my speech. How much sleep do I get every night? I ask myself that question every morning, every day, all while whispering to my cup of java, all sweet caffeinated nectar of the gods, lie to me on how many things will get done today. Now, some try to get six to eight hours. Others only get four hours of sleep. Now, me, I have some is mental issues that hinder my sleep cycle. Now, I have done Google searches and read up on the correlation between sleep and mental well-being. For the purposes of this speech, I will touch on three main points or main ideas. One, why is sleep important? Two, how much sleep should we get? And three, how do we improve the way we sleep? Sleep is more than just laying in your bed, counting sheep, patiently waiting for the Sandman to sprinkle dust over you so that you may finally fall asleep. Sleep is important on a physical and mental level. Allow me a moment to tell you why sleep is important. We spend approximately a third of our lives asleep. It is one of the pillars for maintaining good mental health and physical health. Studies done in the early 2000s on sleep deprivation concluded that sleep has links to brain functions such as concentration, productivity, and cognition. We have five stages of sleep. Stages one through four is known as non-REM sleep. And stage five is REM sleep. For the purposes of this speech, I will focus on the fifth stage, REM, rapid eye movement, uh, REM sleep. Starting in deep sleep, this type of sleep is the most refreshing of all sleep. It is particularly important in helping the brain consolidate all the information that it learned during the day. Eventually, the sleeper will transition to REM sleep. The brain waves are similar to when we are resting. Although our breathing rate and blood pressure rise, all our voluntary muscles also become paralyzed and our muscles, muscle tone becomes relaxed so that we cannot move our limbs. With this type of sleep comes nine benefits of getting that refreshing sleep. One being better productivity and concentration. Two is low risk of weight gain, better calorie regulation, greater, greater athletic performance, low risk for heart disease, more social and emotional intelligence, depression prevention, low, lower inflammation, and stronger immune system. Sleep is a great, now sleep is a very great way of not dying. Getting only two to five hours sleep a night can destroy your immune system, doubling your chances for cancer, heart disease, Alzheimer's, diabetes, and mental issues. So you see, sleep is especially important. And now you're probably, one, probably would like me to tell you how much sleep should we get, am I right? According to the CDC, the hours one should sleep is broken down by age groups. Now I'm only gonna to touch on three age groups. The school age group, six to 12 years old, which requires nine to 12 hours of sleep. Teenagers, 13 to 18 years old, requires eight to 10 hours of sleep. And adults, 18 to 60 years of age, requires seven plus hours. Alongside of sleep, uh, alongside the hours of sleep one should get, quality of sleep is also important. Now, who would have thought that something as simple as sleep 
is so especially vital. You might be one of the two thirds of the world's adults who are, who are caught in this sleep rut, exhausted, frustrated, and very worse for wear. You need to improve, you want to improve. So how do you do that? How do we improve the way we sleep? The phrase sleep hygiene is often used to describe the lifestyle and environmental factors that affect our sleep. Everyone can benefit from improving their quality of sleep hygiene or yeah, sleep or sleep hygiene. Caffeine, alcohol, and nicotine are all substances that can hinder sleep quality. Now caffeine makes it harder to sleep since it affects the central nervous system. Alcohol can help people sleep, but it impairs sleep quality as well. It's a diuretic, which could make someone wake up in the middle of the night to go use the bathroom. Nicotine may impair sleep, but smokers ha have taken longer to go to sleep and have less sleep hours, approximately 14 minutes less every night. Now there are simple activities and routines that will help you reinvigorate your sleep cycle. One, eating habits. Do not go to bed feeling hung hungry. Eat a light snack, but avoid heavy meals since it takes the body time to break those meals down. Regular exercise. Studies have shown improved sleep quality with regular exercise such as jogging and cycling. And timing. Time of physical activity is crucial. Exercise earlier in the day is better for anyone that wants to improve their sleep since it increases the body's adrenaline production, making it difficult to sleep. And of course, environment, bedroom environment can either benef be beneficial or hinder sleep. It is all dependent on one's own preference. Noise, light, temperature, and ventilation factors into this. Noisy neighbors, bright lights, high and cold, hot and cold temps, ventilation, all must be considered and dealt with. So now you know why sleep is important, how much sleep you should get, and how we can improve the way we sleep. Yet among all the species on the planet, human beings are the only species that will willingly delay sleep. Other species, other mammals understand the importance of sleep and will not compromise it. Sleep is vital in order to have a well-balanced life. It should be included right alongside eating healthy and having regular exercise. The world will not fall apart and burn if you take a few hours to eat well, exercise smart, and get rejuvenated through sleep. In fact, doing so will help you be the best version of you that you can be for your coworkers, your friends, your family. The only question now is, are you willing to improve your sleep? Thank you.